Hello YouTube, this is Chardar Yu-Gi-Oh! And today I want to talk about net deckers and why I support net decking. Now, everyone should know what net decking is. It's where you go online and you copy or partially copy a deck and then use that deck. Now, something that annoys me is people who, when you play a game and you use a deck, whether you win or you lose, it doesn't even seem to matter. They say, oh, you copied that deck, it's not yours, you're unoriginal, you're uncreative, all that. You know, there's no way you are going to tell me you have never, ever copied or at least partially copied a deck. Offline or from online, offline, from anywhere. Now, yeah, it's not creative when you copy a deck, but you know... What if you're not playing the game to be creative, you know? I mean, yeah, I like using creative decks. I think it's great when they work out. When I make my own deck, I think it's great when it works out, but, you know, there are over 4,000 cards in the TCG right now, with hundreds more being released every year. Now, I don't have time to go through and test out every single combination of cards or every single possible deck. You know, I don't have time to do that. There's a lot of people. I don't think hardly anyone has time to do that. Fortunately, there's this wonderful resource called the Internet. Now, I can get on the Internet. I can look and see, hmm, this deck works. Hmm, this deck doesn't. I think I'll go with the one that works. Because people are nice enough to make these decks, explain what works, and then share it. So people like me, who don't have a lot of extra time to work on deck stuff, can go on and make a deck. You know, if you play this game to be creative, that's fine, but what if you just want to play? You know, I just want... Sometimes, I don't feel like sitting down and going through my entire bins of cards, my binders, all that, I don't feel like doing that, you know. Sometimes, I just want to play a fun game. So I get on, I make a deck, and I play with that deck. And a lot of times, if I don't like something, like Book of Moon. I don't like Book of Moon. I've never liked Book of Moon. I know it's a good card. I'm not going to argue that. But I don't play Book of Moon in my decks. I'll put in my own tech card into it, like... Maybe an extra Trigodia or something like that. Actually, Trigodia gets mained a lot now. It's not really a tech anymore. But you get the idea. You know, I'm not going to copy an exact deck. I'm going to slightly change it up to fit my style and what I like. But, you know, maybe I just want to play. I Other thing, I don't have the money to go out and buy a bunch of cards, build this deck, but nope, it doesn't work. Go out, buy a whole bunch of more cards, you know. I don't really have the money to do that either. So, maybe people net deck because they don't feel like spending a lot of money on cards that they don't, aren't going to end up using. So, and maybe they're new to the game. Maybe they don't understand what's good or how to play or how to build a good deck on their own. You know, I've been playing for eight years. I probably could build a good deck on my own if I had the time to do it. But what if you're a new player? Maybe you just want to get on the internet and see, hmm, this is a good deck, this looks pretty cool, I think I'm going to build it. So, you know, that's what I did when I got back into the game. Like, I quit playing for about a year. So, new duelists, budget players, players who are strapped for time. There's plenty of people who are perfectly, have perfectly legitimate reason to net deck. And, you know, you nowhere in the world would I say you have to be creative to play. You know, I think I'm a creative person. I will make my own decks if I have time or if I think of something. But I don't, I can't devote hours on end to testing decks. So, that's why I net deck and that is why I support net decking. Just, yeah. I really have nothing else to say about that. So that is how I feel about net decking, and peace out, YouTube.